Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Persona 5. In the last episode, we just got done whooping Okumura's asshole. Something happened to him inside the palace, so we're going to figure it out in about one day. But before that, there's something I want to do. We can hang out with Makoto and go on that double date. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy. Because here comes more Persona 5. Do you have plans? Well, the only plans I have are with you, so let's go. I've been waiting for this double date for like three, four episodes now. Yo! My name's Sukasa. I heard all about you two from Aiko. So I heard you're the student council pres, Makoto-chan. I totally wish I could be one of your council members. Uh, oh, Yes, I'm... I am. Totally. And Glasses-kun over here is your boyfriend. Yeah, Glasses-kun? It's about to be punch you in the face, kun, soon. Yeah. Huh. Looks like you guys don't get along too good, though. It's like your love level's rock bottom. Are you seriously dating? We just started. We're fighting right now. Love comes in many forms. We're fighting right now. Nah, I don't want to say that. We just started dating. So back off. Well, You're right. Um... We've like only been dating for a couple of days now. We're so jealous of the love you and Aiko have though. Oh, uh, I get it. You just don't got any affection compared to us. Hey, babe, did you do something special today? I don't remember you looking this sexy. Oh, Sukasa! <sighs> Sorry, I have to use the bathroom. Later, lovebird. Excuse me. Um, there's something I'd like to ask you. Are you serious about pursuing a relationship with Aiko? Aha! I was wondering when our honor student was going to show her true colors. That reminds me. Aiko said you were real pumped about getting to know me. Why is that, huh? I just wanted to make sure you're good for her. Damn, girl! You really care about your friends. Good stuff. I always say friends are like super important and shit. Speaking of which, a friend of my girlfriend is totally a friend of mine. How about you tell me your digits? Whoa! Hold the phone! Huh? What's wrong? Come on, give me your number. I'm about to give you something in a second! I, um... Don't be so pushy. Back off. Here, have my number instead. Yeah, I'm just as good. Nobody asked you, glasses coon. Anyways, Aiko already gave me yours, Mako-chan. We good. Hmm. I do have one more question to ask. You're not going to bring Aiko to your club, are you? What? You suspected me? I wouldn't dream of it. It's a damn shame people think us hosts just flirts. But my love with Aiko is pure as snow. Don't twist the story. Huh? Is something wrong? Oh, I was just getting to know your little friend here, honey. Well, I should get going. I've got to be at work soon. Ah, me too. Bye. I hope he's not tricking her. <laughs> he most definitely is. But no matter what I might think, I still don't have any proof. And above all, Aiko seems really happy. Am I just getting in the way of their happiness? No, you're being considerate, you worry too much, probably a little. No, you're being absolutely considerate. I suppose so. I mean, I really am worried about Aiko here. In the end, I know this is just a hunch, but my father always stressed how important it is to trust hunches. Who's that, huh? Better not be a dude. It seems that host has sent me something already. Oh, it is a dude, and the guy that I hate. What is this supposed to be saying? It's full of emojis. It's me, Sukasa, heart emoji. I know we just met, but I couldn't wait to phone emoji you. I'm so happy to be friends with you, Makosi. Clapping emoji, clapping emoji, hot springs emoji, what the fuck emoji? That was barely a coherent sentence, but I'll need to get used to that if I'm going to help Aiko. By the way, I'm glad you were here with me. I would have really panicked had I been alone. I honestly despise how immature I can be sometimes. Thank you very much. But I'm working through that with your help, so thank you. I can sense Makoto's trust in me. You guys know what I can sense? I can sense HERS! Priestess rank six. Chance to cure status elements inflicted upon party members. All right. All right. I like that. That was cool. Shall we go? We should get going too. I'll let you know if anything else comes up. All right then. Goodbye. You're back. Tomorrow is the date of the arrangement with your fiance. I'll be okay though. The state of my father is in has put that on hold for the time being. Woo! We accomplished one of our goals. 
That doesn't mean my marriage has been called off, though. My father agreed to do so in that other world, but I'm not so sure now, given his current condition. Hmm, so that too will be on hold until the change of hearts. Well, sounds to me like we're totally in the clear. Yes, and it's all thanks to you guys. Everything should work out well if Okumura has a change of hearts. Assuming it happens like it always does, we should be seeing some results soon. Research progress, anything interesting. Hold on, let me go upstairs, plant some thief. He's been pretty lonely. Maybe he needs some of that what's up? Let's see. It looks pretty healthy for now. Okay, cool. You know what? We can hang out with one of these people. I think I'm gonna go for her. This is it. The digital version of the weekly magazine. My father's deteriorating health and that he's bedridden. The fact that my mother primarily supports us. They even reported that my mother works at a nightclub. Which is not untrue, but was it really necessary for them to write about all this? Capitalizing on a family's private matters is just cruel. My family's troubles have nothing to do with my skills as a shogi player. My mother was furious when she read the article. She said it'll hurt her career, and that she'll never forgive whoever wrote it. My father didn't say anything, he just sat there listening to her. But he looked troubled. <sighs> My mother told me that we'd be able to easily quell these rumors if I were to become more famous. So now she's even more insistent on having me do more TV and magazine interviews than before. You'll be famous! Is that frustrating? The media is scary. Hell yeah they are! I feel the same way. All this gossip and talk of me being an idol has nothing to do with me being a shogi player. Um... I always believed that if I worked hard as a shogi player, I'd be able to support us. But I never expected such a destructive article would be written about me and my family. Honestly, nothing good will come from being treated like an idol. People say I'm all looks and no skills. They're annoyed that I'm in the press all the time. Terrible things have been said about me, suggesting I would do anything to become popular. I'm even starting to be shunned in the shogi world. That's why my senior acted that way towards me. Um. The real reason I practice in the church is that no one wants to play with me. My father used to practice with me from his sickbed, but his illness has made that impossible. Maybe I should stop playing shogi and just get a job. That way, my family won't get hurt again. Do you still like shogi? Is that what you want to do? Do what you love. Do what I love? I love shogi. I don't want to quit. <laughs> yes, you're right. You understand my true feelings. Yeah, I do. At the end of the day, I love shogi. I'd never be able to give it up. I was just confused because of that article and how my senior treated me. However, I think I can see my next move, thanks to you. You're helping me realize a lot about myself, outside of Shogi. Well, that's what I'm here for, baby. I can sense a deep bond of trust from Hafumi. All right, we'll give it a little one and see. Star rank six. All right. And we got no perk. It's okay though. Let's return to the church and play a match. The article has left me somewhat irritated. I'm going to use my secret move, the Eternal Abyss Yagura Gate, and turn the board into hell. Well, would you care to face me in a match? Let's go, let's do it. I feel like playing Shogi with Hofumi has helped sharpen my knowledge. Yes, I always like immense knowledge. Come on, go rank five already. Until next Thank time. Thank you for joining me. Until next time. All right, here we go, guys. The moment of truth. Sorry for messaging you all this early in the morning. It seems my father will be holding an urgent press conference. Okay. I guess Okumura finally had his change of heart. That has to at least lift some of the burden on Haru's shoulders. For real? Congrats! When is that going to be? 8 p.m. tonight. I wonder if he'll talk about the mental shutdowns. Where should we watch it? Why don't we get together beforehand? Sounds good. I don't really have a reason for meeting up, but it still might prove beneficial. Anyway, how does the Shujin Academy rooftop sound? I actually happen to have some business up there. Sounds good to me. It's been ages since I was last there. Wait, the school? Futaba, make sure you come in through the front entrance. See you all there after school. Oh? Hmm? Wait, where's Yusuke? If he's still asleep at this point, he's definitely going to be late for school. So you're the one who grew these, senpai. <laughs> You can just call me Haru. The seasons are changing soon, 
so I thought it'd be nice for the plants to change as well. This time, it's a Yusuke Kitagawa production. Nice. All I did was add some... How do I put it? Aesthetic simplicity by balancing the color placement. Furthermore, Haru chose the flowers herself. It will surely be a great bed no matter the arrangement. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Why don't we plant you, Mona? Weren't you a shut-in until just recently? You'd better photosynthesize while you're here. The roasting, I see you guys. Well, let's get started. Wait, I didn't Perhaps come up to the roof for this? this? Snapdragon should go two more millimeters to the left. I've been bamboozled. That's not gonna make a difference. Hey, you know how we're thinking of the school festival as our celebration party? Anyone else think we should have a real celebration on top of that? I must agree. It would be not only a celebration, but a welcoming as well. I'd like to do something among ourselves. Let's do it then! A joint party to celebrate and to welcome Haru! Hail ye! Oh, you don't have to do that. The school festival is more than enough. How is everyone else supposed to get excited if the star of the party's not into it? Well then, how about a night party? At Destiny Land. Destiny Land? By Destiny Land, do you mean that Kingdom of Dreams? <laughs> Destiny Land. You gotta be it kidding would be me. A bit late, but there are some plans that allow us to rent out the park for the night. The entire park? That is so cool. You're talking about the Destiny Land, right? Didn't you say you'd like to do something amongst ourselves? I did, but. Hold on, I'll go check. She really thinks like a celebrity. What the heck's she gonna check? Guys, it looks like it will work. You're really gonna have it at Destiny Land? Not like one of the restaurants, but the entire park? Even just for one night, the price is insane. Oh, that won't be a problem. We had originally booked it for a company party, then had to call it off because of the scandal. We'd barely get anything back if we canceled the reservation, so why not take advantage of it? You're right. Wouldn't that be oddly conspicuous, though? It's still officially under the company's name. We needn't worry. In that case, let's do this. Let's do it, Haru coming through. We'll just celebrate twice as hard today. I'm sorry for disrupting everyone. You did come to help me after all. Well, Let's get back to it. So, uh, seriously, how much does it cost? For real? It seems like we'll be having our celebration at Destiny Land tonight. <laughs> mm, that was delicious. That is so cool. The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. I've never seen Ryuji that happy, especially with those ears on his head. This dude is living the life. The staff brought out this table and food just for us, huh? I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with a view. Haru, best the friend VIP ever. The life is incredible! I need a Haru in my life. Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams! Just thinking about that, like having a whole theme park to yourself? That's is crazy. This lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. Wow. It's beautiful. You're beautiful, Yusuke. It's not as beautiful as you. Hey, Futaba, chill, back off. Those are my lines. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? <laughs> Almost anyone would fall for that line in front of a site like this. Lady On, <laughs> this view is not as beautiful as. Come on, you guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. You say that like you're not tapping into your inner child too, Ryuji. This is just because Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. I did not. You said something like that. Don't fight in those. Fighting brings you closer. Ryuji, you're the adults. Don't fight in those. Those are sacred what ears. What was that? My, this is so heartwarming. 
Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well. But given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. Either way, this party's totally the best one so far. It's freaking amazing! Yep. I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Loving it. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. This'll really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? <laughs> Look at these guys having so much fun. Still, how do I put this? I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? It's actually a bit frightening. You worry too much. I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? Oh, perfect timing! Father. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Today, I'd like to elaborate upon the whole truth behind my company's labor situation. How my employees were forced to work under severe conditions. How lax we were with sanitation. And how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal. For all of this, I wholeheartedly apologize. So are you saying all of this was done under your orders? Yes. That was the stiffest bow that I've ever seen in my damn life. I am solely responsible. I just had to point that out. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Furthermore, these happened to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all of this true? Yes. Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers. Man, how many microphones are you going to need, my guy? About that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. I... Whoa! Okumura-san? <laughs> that is creepy. No, you can't cut to the cute dog chasing the butterfly. Not after that shit. Huh? F father Why did he collapse? That didn't look right at all. <sighs> Don't tell me. Monachan, what's going on? No. That's impossible! We did everything the same. What happened? I want to know that myself! We made sure we just took the treasure, too. I should call home. This, this isn't our fault, is it? It's been okay all four times so far, ever since Kamoshida. If we let the Shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown, right? That's how it should work. Yeah, it's gotta be. What's wrong? Th this is the same. I remember now. It's just like what happened to my mom. So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um... I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Aww. She's so sweet Haru. even after that happened. This ain't our fault, right? I feel so bad for her. 
I'd like to think so. Oh, that is so messed up. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later, but for today, I think we should all return home. It's been a while. What are you watching? <laughs> That's... <coughs> this is just a hypothesis. But perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. No, Sai. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. Sai. Don't I do that. I hate to bring this up, but don't be making up bullshit. I'm actually here about that. I mean, it's a good theory, but stop making up bullshit. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, but I don't want to rule it out. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. We will find evidence on this. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, have you? Uh-oh. That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. How would you know that, though? It was only a small error pop-up, but I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Are you saying you didn't? As a detective myself, I honor the value of information, as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, sai son. I apologize. But then, who stole my data? <sighs> I let my guard down. Yeah, you did. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them. So about Haru's dad, uh... The news said it was a cardiac arrest. There's a chance he'll pull through, right? I hate to say this, but usually after such a report, the only thing that follows is a confirmation of death. No! Haru, why is this happening? Can someone die simply from having a mental shutdown? I don't know. I suppose it's possible that the shot could kill a person. Haru did mention how her father wasn't in the best of health, but for him to just up and die? This has gotta be some kind of joke. Haru! Are we responsible for his death? But I thought it was supposed to be fine as long as we didn't kill the shadow. Ain't that what you said, Morgana? Ugh. It should have been okay. It should have been. He says it should have been okay. Yeah, there's no point getting mad at Mona for this. I heard the same thing too, you know. In any case, let's compose ourselves for now. We need to act normally in public. But keep Haru in our minds. <sighs> Damn it, this doesn't make any sense. Why he suffered a mental shutdown is one thing, but what are we supposed to do from here on out? Nothing. You just wait. I mean, with those kind of things, just like Makoto said, you gotta lay low. So now we have to look into the mental shutdowns, follow the situation, and we still gotta prove your justice to society. Hey. Let's go to sleep for the day. Damn it! I wasn't tired though. Still got the adrenaline kicking from that news conference. What in the world's going on? I don't know, but we gotta go to sleep. Here we go. Maybe we'll get our answers now. Deep in Z's unconscious mind. Wake up! There you go. On your feet, inmate. Yes, ma'am. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. You got it. What's up? First. I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Yeah, no problem. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. You're telling me. It wasn't our fault! And I'll say that till the day I, I die! I know this, of course. However, what of the general public? Man, fuck the general public! It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, 
Your rehabilitation cannot be completed, though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. Me too. I feel like my bond with Igor is growing deeper. This is going to be interesting from here on out. Full rank 9. Okay, so we got All one right. more to go. Which makes me sad, because that means we're closer to we completing the game. Again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. Yes, ma'am. Going to sleep right now. But yeah, things are going to be interesting from here on out for the Phantom Thieves. Because... Hey! 79%? What's that for? That's fucked up. We did nothing wrong. We are innocent, I tell you. Innocent! Capital I. Is that true? Did you hear? Okumura died. It's all over the news. He collapsed during his press conference, right? I wish I'd been watching when it happened, you sick fuck! You're probably better off. It was a total disaster. I never imagined seeing a heart attack would be so unsettling. The news says it was because of an illness, but either way you spin it, still bizarre. Damn, wish I'd seen it live. This guy's a sicko! <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. <sighs> We're hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. Well, you're not gonna find it when these two fucks are just inspecting one chair in the house. Move around! Get some fingerprints! Go do something! Look at them! We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking? Huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. What? Yes. That's bull. I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. What if Haru is the one that tells Sai who the Phantom Thieves are, and that's why Z is but being Principal, interrogated throughout the no whole one game? No told me about that. I hope not. Because Haru, you know, she's a character that kind of grew on me over the course of this palace. I didn't really like her at first. I thought she was too nice, and it was kind of, like, weird to me for some reason. But I hope she doesn't snitch on us, and this is why we end up in this situation. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. Nope. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. Correct. <sighs> you don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but with my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? I can't ignore criminals. My teammate was in danger. We were interested. My teammate was in danger? Yeah. <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. I feel like my bond with Sai is growing deeper. Judge rank 5. Wow. We All actually right. have a long way to go. Yes, me likey. But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Hmm? What's the matter? <gasps> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? My vision. It's starting to get distorted. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Hear me? You need to stay focused. Don't scare me like that. If what you're saying is true, you must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, let's move on. At last we arrive at your most recent crime. Okay, here we go. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sai Nijima, myself. <laughs> now, explain everything to me. No.
go! <laughs> the summary of the story up to this point has been updated. What the fuck? I'm curious to see how Makoto felt about that. Has anyone been able to contact Haru? I haven't. I'm worried about her. No luck here. Me neither. She won't pick up. It doesn't look like she's seen any of our chats either. I'm worried about her. Why would we go after Sai though? It doesn't really make sense for the Phantom Thieves to go after her. It would make more sense for them to go for that SIU director. You know, the guy who has like the hair on the side of his head. He just won't cut it off because he's stubborn. He's been making like some shady phone calls. It would make way more sense going after him. That's why it's going to be really interesting to see why they're going after Sai. Oh, Zikun? My apologies for messaging you so early in the morning. Things have calmed down a bit at home, so I thought there's something I need to tell you. What's the matter? Are you alright? Yeah, we gotta make sure she's alright first. Yes. Thank you. Um, there's actually something that's caught my attention. I think I need to discuss it with everyone, though. We should meet at the hideout after school. It looks like Haru is managing. Somehow. Alright, let's meet up with everyone after school. With this, preparations are finally in place. The public has praised them as allies of justice before they strike them back to the ground. Now then, she'll be next. Yes, I've already spoken to Human Resources about it. It will be a heavy responsibility, but I'm certain it'd be an honor for her. The culprits behind the mental shutdown cases she's been pursuing all this time <laughs> Indeed, they'll become the criminals we've set them up to be, just as you instructed. It's so damn loud. Hmm? Where's Haru? She's the one that called us, so she'll show up eventually. Well, even though things have calmed down, she must be occupied with what happened to her father. Wait, what? What's up? People are posting that we killed President Okumura. Oh, hell no. So it's begun already. What? Think about it. The CEO collapsed the way he did during an apology conference that our group caused. They were raving about us so much, and now they just treat us like murderers? Well, it does look pretty bad. What a lightning fast change of attitude. Because when you send the calling card, it publicizes it to like everybody. So everyone's like, ooh, the Phantom Thieves are going to target Okumura. And then he dies. Obviously, all the fingers are going to be pointed at you. They don't know a damn thing about our situation. Calm down. Not everyone is necessarily saying that. But there's no way to vindicate ourselves. <clears throat> Haru! I'm sorry I'm late. I'm the one who asked you all to make time for me, too. My condolences. Must be rough. She's so nice and sweet even after what happened to her dad. I'm okay now. Aww. Um... She doesn't I deserve this. I together because there was something worrying me. Did you all target the principal? Huh? The principal? You mean ours? Yes. What makes you say that? Yesterday, a public prosecutor came to my home. Um... It was a woman named... Mijima-san. That's... I overheard her saying a calling card was found in the principal's office. Considering that this was right after what happened, it's got to be Shujin's. It's the first I've heard of it! Doesn't this all seem weird to you? It may just be my imagination, but I feel as if... things are escalating far too quickly after President Okumura's incident. I what agree. Perhaps... we may have been set up by the real culprit. For real? Definitely. That could be. Then we need to catch them as soon as possible. Hold a moment. 
Can we assume we've been set up, though? We don't even know their objective. What else are we supposed to do, then? Let's all calm down for a moment. From what Haru said, even the police are suspecting that the Phantom Thieves are murderers. It wouldn't be wise to carelessly make a move at the moment. We need to act as normal students for now. In addition, we have midterms next week. Exams? At a time like this? <sighs> I envy you, Futaba. Futaba? Hmm? Got something on my mind. Gonna go home and look into it. You can't tell us? I, I thought that we were a be. team! At any rate, we, we need to be secrets from the team, right, guys? To ourselves. Understood? Got it. I feel like Makoto is low key the boss. Like, she was introduced, what, like third or fourth? Yeah, it was uh, Ryuji, and then An, and then Yusuke. Makoto was introduced fourth, but I feel like she's the boss. Like, she's the one controlling everything. I just always felt like Z and I guess Morgana were like the main shot callers. They found a calling card with the principal, but that's impossible. This is ridiculous. Why are people doubting the Phantom Thieves over what happened to President Okumura? They'd never do such a thing. Isn't that right? Absolutely. Yeah, I trust them. Anyway, it seems like everyone's forgotten all that they've done up to this point. That won't stop me though. I'll continue cheering them on. Make sure you tell them that. Well, see you later. Mishima is a bit narrow-sighted, but he is a good person deep down. We can't betray him. I wasn't planning to. Hey, Let's go to sleep for the day and get ready for midterms. All right. I only have level four knowledge, but that should be good, right? That should be good enough for maybe like a B, B plus. Stop going down. Now it's down at 60. It was just at 92 like a couple days ago. Now it's at 60? Come on, don't go down. I can't handle that. My little heart can't take that. I'm sorry for worrying you, everyone. I won't be able to respond for a little while longer. You don't need to mind us. More importantly, are you doing all right? I'm okay. I'm more worried about the people at the company, to be honest. It seems everyone's having difficulty with not only clients, but the press as well. They're even handling the preparations for my father's funeral. I just feel so guilty that I'm unable to help out at all. You shouldn't. Everyone understands this is a trying time for you. And we're here if anything happens. I know, I'll get in touch once things settle down. We'll be waiting, don't push yourself. Thanks, talk to you later. Bless that girl, worrying about others even at a time like this. I wish we could prove our innocence, but we can't afford to make a dumb mistake and get ourselves caught. We'll just have to keep laying low and wait. Let's not do anything conspicuous, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna hang out with people and I'm gonna get ready for my midterms. Hey, sorry for bringing this up when things are so chaotic. I know it's been tough after what happened to President Okumura and all, but this is the perfect time for smaller changes of heart to restore your reputation. Anyway, here's the info I have. If true, this one is pretty crazy. Apparently an ex-mercenary who works as an assassin is hiding out in the Shibuya underground. He acts like a homeless person during the day, but then goes about his work at night. He hasn't left any trace of his identity though, so there's nothing the police can do. Sounds dangerous. Hey, everyone's gotta work. Sounds interesting. You really are brave. Well, according to the rumors, his name is Yohai Kiritani. I'm seriously scared. I don't want anything to do with this. I'm leaving this to you, Cub Scouts. Mm. Mishima really does get some amazing info for us sometimes. Our reputation may have taken a hit after Okumura's death, but we can still prove our justice in mementos. We should discuss this with everyone when we have time. Oh, and we have to meet up with Haru before we can go in. The killer who cleans up trash. Okay, so we gotta be on the lookout for somebody who's homeless because he's an assassin! What are we doing today? What are your plans? What do you want to do, On? Do you want to hang out? This looks so amazing! This place had so much on their menu, it's hard not to overeat. Oh, how about this? Operation Eat a Bit of Everything! Sounds like a good plan! Right? It's quality over quantity! Honestly, it was crazy how much my stomach expanded last time. But I've reflected on my actions, and I won't make the same mistake again. But Z, can you keep an eye on me? I think as long as you do, my resolve won't crumble. Sure. Yes. Well then, let's get eating. The order you eat things seems important. Let's start with the stuff that digests quickly. What would that be? 
What is that, Seriously? dessert? Hey, they gave me this present for being the millionth customer. No wonder this place is expensive. I'm amazed they give out stuff like this. Aww. I feel like I'd just eat from it nonstop if I kept it at my house. Can you take it? Choco Fountain. Cool, I'll set that up in my room. I don't think my bond with On will deepen just yet. So I gotta do another one of these bullshits? Thank you for today. Well, you know, the most you could do is let me deepen my bond the next time we hang out, but apparently no. Apparently we gotta do the same mumbo jumbo again. Yo. I hear the Phantom Thieves killed someone. It's all over the news. Well, I didn't do it, alright, Sojiro? I'm innocent, I tell you! Innocent! Okay, but let's put our Choco Fountain somewhere in our room. Because, of course, we need more decor. Nude statue? What the? Uh, Choco Fountain. Nice! That's cool. Did you still want to keep decorating? Oh, no. That is awesome. Look at that Choco Fountain. Do you have any news? Uh, you know what? Let's do it. A fan site? Oh, you mean the Phantom Aficionado website? I didn't know it was so popular with high school kids. I haven't been paying much attention to it. But if it's newsworthy, I guess I should keep tabs on it. The Phantom Thieves must be really bored if they're going after small-time criminals now. I have a theory that they're all miners, and their leader is some simpleton dying from boredom. Miners couldn't do that stuff. You might be right. You shouldn't make assumptions. Yeah, especially for a journalist. Haha, <laughs> you're right. My theory is definitely half-assed at best. Plus, it only takes a second to change a person's heart. They totally wouldn't be bored. Well, I'm not really interested in writing entertainment articles about whatever fads caught on. But they do really well, right? Some journalists who were in here seem frustrated about that. Journalists? Oh, you mean Nakao and the others? Shit. You'd really lump me in with those hyenas? Ha! Don't insult me. People at work call them paparazzi behind their backs. But me? I'm a real journalist. What's the difference? I'm sure you are. Ooh, that's sass, Z. That's sass. Hey, I wasn't looking for some kid to butt in. Entertainment articles are all about selling copies. The truth doesn't even matter. Nobody wants to read real news. <sighs> Why not change careers? Maybe you should quit. Nah, let's go for the first one. Never. But at this rate, you. If I quit now, it'd be the same as declaring my partner guilty. Damn it. Jointly responsible. What a joke. She didn't do anything. And that's why I can't quit. And why I'll never give up. What was she accused of? What happened? Yeah, who the fuck are you talking about? It has nothing to do with you, kid. Then why even bring it up? But thanks to you, I've had more time to focus on my own investigation. I'm going to write an article that you'll really enjoy. Think of it as a sign of my appreciation. <laughs> I can see it now. Exclusive. Behind the incredible Phantom Thieves. Dial 911 for justice. How's that sound? Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I'll take it seriously. After all, that's what I promised you. My deal with Oya seems to be progressing smoothly. You know what else is progressing smoothly? Uh, yes! Devil rank three. All right. And we get no perk from the devil? What's that all about? You sure are weird though, coming all this way to Shinjuku at night. Hello? Mm-hmm. Wait, what? I can talk with him? Really? Okay, I'll be right there. Work? Nah, I'm already off the clock. Sorry, I have some urgent business I need to attend to. Let's just put this one on my tab, Lala-chan. Well then. See ya! See ya. Jeez, she's such a child. She gets so excited the moment something comes up about her favorite assignment. Anyways, shouldn't you be getting home too? I was able to pique Oya's interest with stories of the Phantom Thieves. I feel like my charm has increased. Well, too late for me. My charm is already maxed out, baby. Look at that. Bam! Max charm all day, all right. son. Hide your ladies, because z -kun with the max charm, he's taking all of them. All right, guys, I'm going to end this episode of Persona 5 here. We are going to take care of the midterms in the next episode, and hopefully we also figure out why we're targeting Sai Nijima. If you guys want to see that episode as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!